here I am at Excelsior Stadium in Airdrie where Elton John and his band are playing tonight and right now I'm with Elton's guitarist, the one and only Mr David Johnston. David, thanks How for talking to us. Good to see you. Now yeah. you're from Edinburgh originally, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Edinburgh and um, last time I was in, in uh, Airdrie, I was playing for Edinburgh school, uh, boys school soccer team, you know. Really? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we actually won 2-1. <laughs> Good game. Whereabouts did you play in Airdrie? Because that was my next question. When was the last it time was you were in Airdrie? The, the Airdrie and Coatbridge team, so I don't know what right. I don't know what the stadium was. I sure, was, sure. I was only like 14 or 15 at the time. But it's quite possible it was the old Broomfield Stadium. Could have been. Yeah, yeah. That, that rings a bell, actually. Because we played one in Edinburgh at Warriston, and then uh, we played the return here. Right. And, uh, we got lucky. Because they were good. <laughs> now, what do you think of the stadium here? Have you had a look at um, it? I've been all over this bloody stadium because I've got family everywhere in every corner. Um, yeah, it's great. It looks nice. You've been playing with Elton for many, many years. Uh, it's yeah. well documented how you guys got together. But just tell us a little bit about it because I think it was back in 68 you kind of started. Um, the, the I, year I, was I went by down to, to London in, in 68 and I got lucky doing studio work, working with various people. And um, I was working with a band called Magna Carta, sure. who Gus was also, Gus Dudgeon was the producer, uh, the late great Gus Dudgeon unfortunately. Um, but Gus and I hit it off really well and he thought um, I, I work well with Alan's music and he asked me would I do a studio date. I said yeah, I, I have no idea who he was, no idea, because he wasn't really famous yet. At that time, you're right. He was this guy called Reg, you know, that right. was who he was called, you know. and. Um, and in one day we did four tracks, I believe. We did um, Tiny Dancer, Holiday Inn, Madman Across the Water, and something else. I put Leave On. And uh, like the next week I got a call saying, would I like to join the band? You know, like, as is part of his road band. So um, yeah, it was, it's been all since then, really. Absolutely. So fantastic. it was since, since 71 is when I actually 71. started playing with them, yeah. And what kind of a, uh, what can we expect to see tonight? Is it going to be all the hits? Um, hopefully a bit of everything, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you can't really get away from the hits because uh, there have been quite a few of them and people <laughs> come to these shows to see these, sure, to see and hear sure. those hits. Um, a lot of the bigger, you know, the deeper fans like to hear tracks that maybe are not that familiar, so we try and put a few of these in as mixture. well. Uh, yeah, so it, it's hopefully it'll be a bit for everybody, you know. Now, uh, one of those hits that Elton um, sang is a song called Someone Saved My Life Tonight, mm. and I had a, I heard a story that Elton actually saved your life, is that true? It's absolute rubbish. Is it really? <laughs> and I don't mean he physically saved your life, like jumped into a pool, but apparently gave you some advice uh, on life and, and how to go about oh, it. Oh, yes. And, and so technically saved oh, your yeah, life. Oh, yeah, he put me on a path. Um, <laughs> yes. He helped in a bit. Yes, no, he definitely was. Among, I, I think if anybody has got any issues, whether they be alcohol, drugs, whatever, you know, um, it's great when people have the courage to tell them and say, you know what, you should have a look at what you're doing. And yeah, Elton actually, being a very close friend, was, was uh, somebody who took me aside and said, you know what, have a look at what you're, what you're doing, you know, because, and I'm going, really? And I, I, you, usually you're the last person to know. But as a result, I, uh, I stopped drinking almost eight years ago, so. Or you stopped altogether? And everything, yeah, so right. drinking, everything. smoking, drugs, everything, and I saw it's great. And has it changed your life? Yeah, dramatically. Well, I'm still here. You're still here? <laughs> Everybody's so excited. Good. We can't thank you enough for coming to Airdrie. Well, I hope you enjoy it. We're going to have a great time. Everybody enjoys it. Thanks for talking to us, Cheers, Ross. You're a star. Thanks. And I'm right now, I'm with Mr. Willie Smith, who's here to see Elton John. You've seen Elton before, Willie? Yeah, I've seen him six times, Ross. Uh, six times? Uh, six times. First time I saw him was in the mid-80s in London. It was the first time I'd went to London, but specifically went to see Elton. It was a fantastic gig. I remember well, he was uh, supported by Nick Kershaw and Joe Boxer. Uh, the group, I don't know if anybody actually remember those Butter guys. Butter beaten. Butter beaten. The very one. Uh, but it was a fantastic gig and my first experience in the big city. So it was, it was brilliant. So uh, that was the first time you saw Elton? Yeah, I saw it, you know, first time I saw him, but I loved Elton since I was a kid. You know, mid-70s, mid the first time I came out aware of Elton was uh, around about six, 76, 77. 
first time I heard your song was on a KTL album, <laughs> uh, but the song came out in about 69 or 70, if I remember right. But it's a song I loved then and I still love to this day. Fantastic. I know you're a big Elvis fan. Yeah. Has, um, is, is there any, you know the history behind this? Elvis and Elton John, did they have any kind of Yeah, they, they, they sort of crossed paths. I think Elton went to see uh, Elvis in June the 10th, 1972, at Madison Square Gardens, along with John Lennon. I knew it asked the right guy. <laughs> uh, so he was there along with George Harrison as well. Uh, so the guys, Elton and John Lennon, were sort of collaborating in some shape or form. Uh, run about the early 70s and were good friends, but I believe they went to see that. I know John Lennon was there, George Harrison, and I believe Elton was at that concert as well. So that was the summer of 72. You know, he's a legend, there's, there's no doubt about it. You know, I was looking at the catalogue, uh, his, his albums, and I'm glad to see I've got most of them. And I've got great direct memories about Elton and indirect memories like, you know, great friends of mine when we were in the building industry, sitting in a van, all singing to, I guess, that's why they call it the blues, and 83, 84. So El Elton's, you know, he's been a wee bit of a soundtrack to my life, I've got to be honest with you. And he, he is, he is a fantastic artist. What, what, uh, what songs are you most looking forward to tonight? For me, it's, you know, there's, there's a song called Tonight, and the reason I first came across that song, it's, a, it's off a 70s album. Uh, but the first time I heard it was an 87 album from Live in Australia with a 140-piece 40, orchestra. And it just blew me away. Between the, lyr the lyrics and the power of the, the orchestration, it was fantastic. But I believe it has a hits sort of album, to, you know, the concert he's doing tonight. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it all. What do you think about the, the Excelsior Stadium and the fact that Elton's playing here in Airdrie? You know, what a fantastic opportunity for Airdrie uh, to showcase Elton John and potentially other artists moving forward. As long as I've known this area 20 years, you know, been pretty close with the area, working directly and indirectly, I've never known this stadium would be doing anything. So for Elton to come here is great, directly for the stadium, indirectly for all the local businesses, and hopefully this opens up other opportunities uh, for other artists to come along, which would be fantastic. John, still playing at the Excelsior Stadium in Airdrie. It's been a great day. Fans are loving it. It's just surreal having Elton in the town. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch up with you soon.